So as we speed towards the conclusion of me having been right about everything this whole time, you guys are going to move into a couple of strategies. The most effective one here being uh, we were all wrong scramble. And we were all wrong just creates a confusing mask that throws me into the mix and says that I included was wrong with everyone else. Now here's how it works. Once we reach the conclusion in which I'm right, which we already have, you guys will start doing things like asking a bunch of questions, making a bunch of solid little points that are not solid because they're just little questions of you saying you don't understand something, you don't understand something, you don't understand something. And from that point on, once you establish that it's okay or that it makes sense for something to not be understood, you'll just create more questions and more confusions until you've completely scrambled the conclusion and everyone can get away from it and reset themselves into a new position so that they don't fall victim to the consequences of their actions and what this will be is everyone here will be saying too much was going on at the time or things were just too confusing because none of us can even describe how any of that was happening or what was going on and this will all just be a confusing scramble to disguise and get away from the fact that I was right as you reposition yourselves to be on my side now the reason that I don't like this is because if you can get away with it you will just say we were all wrong including me because there's too much confusion to discuss what was happening but all you've done is create questions of context context layers that are too far and too developed that you people are only willing to discuss maybe three layers at any time because after that it becomes too confusing for anyone to really keep together and we all have to move on which is what the point of this was so at this point I'll still remember that I was right, I'll still remember that you were wrong, and I will not care that you cry because I understand the Jesus exploit, which is, Jesus argues. By the way, I'm gonna go ahead and change the name from Jesus to uh, Edowabe because I don't fucking respect that stupid ass fucking religion. So, Edowabe exploit, which is pretty much, if these people don't know what they're doing is wrong, then they cannot be punished for it, and they would not do it if they knew what they were doing was wrong. This argument pretty much makes it so that somebody can actively say, hey, I still wanna do this thing I think is wrong. Therefore, I must not really know it's wrong because I'm still about to do it. And therefore you cannot punish me uh, because I don't know what I'm doing is wrong. I'll still fucking kill you. And I'll still sit there and watch you die in ways that look natural and like things are just happening. I don't fucking care anymore. I really have no fucking time for this. I should have been good six years ago. I should have been fine. I should have been good 10, 20 years ago. I should have been perfectly okay. But y'all niggas wanted to keep fucking playing games. So we're at this point now.